it's Orestes. Hello? Do you hear me? Valentina, is that you? N no, I can't talk to him. I don't want to. Valentina, it's you, isn't it? Come on, please talk to me. <laughs> what is it, Valentina? It's Orestes. Oh. Look, if he asks for me, please tell him that, that, that I got married and went to Paris, okay? That you don't know anything about all me. All right, all right. Yes, who is this? Oh, Mr. Orestes, how are you? It's Almudena, do you remember? Yes, yes, of course, Almudena. Uh, how are you? Tell me something. Who picked up the phone? Why did it take you so long to answer? Well, then, you see, the thing is the sound is bad, and, you know, there's a little interference on the line. It must be something mm -hmm. like that. Hmm. Uh, Almudena, by the way, we heard the news about Aunt Celeste's death, and believe me, we're all saddened by it. <sighs> yes, I know how you feel, just as we are all feeling here. Very sad. <sighs> You know, she was feeling a little sick, right? She had a heart problem, but we never thought that she would pass away that fast and so suddenly. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Please do me a favor. Tell Valentina to pick up the phone. I need to talk to her. You see, I'm really sorry, Mr. Orestes, but then, you know, with everything that happened here with the death of Miss Celeste, well, uh, Valentina decided to, well, uh, just leave her Paris with her husband. With... With her husband? V Valentina got married? Yes, of course. She got married last year with a local businessman from, from the city. Yes. Yes. Are you there? Yes. Mr. Orestes? <sighs> Mr. Orestes? She... she got married. Valentina got married. Oh, so it was all for nothing, right? All for nothing. You wanted to ruin your marriage when she's already happily married. Now will you please? You just really have to convince Arrestus that we shouldn't postpone our wedding. But then my son's very stubborn, and when he gets an idea into his head, that's but it. we still have to try to convince him anyway. Otherwise, it will reflect badly on us. People get married because they really want to, not because they feel obliged. No, I think Orestes is getting cold feet about this wedding, and he's looking for an excuse to postpone it because men are like that. And don't you think you should find out why he's so scared? And why should that be, Dad? Because deep down, all men are just good for nothing. Ariana, will you please show some respect here? Okay, Chiki, I've made my decision. You did? Yes, that's right, Chiki. Orestes has decided, and now he knows what he has to do. And what's your decision, Orestes? That our wedding is on. I'll marry you. <laughs> Think very well, Mrs. Caramella. Try to remember. We have reason to suspect that this man is the one that they call the Silver Lily. But come on, how can I remember when I don't recognize anyone because I've never seen that man in my life? But then why didn't you tell us that you received the donations? That's what you told Inspector Carreño. Yes, yes, yes. I've been receiving them, but he'd never given them to me personally. We don't have any idea how they got there. And there were even occasions when someone would slide them right under the front door. Mm -hmm. Look here. Carreño, we better forget about this because I think this isn't the guy we're looking for. We'll have to let but him why go. why should we, Chief? But come on, haven't you thought this out? Look, this guy hasn't confessed. We have no proof. What do we do? Well, you know, Chief, I guess we just haven't pushed him hard enough. You get me? But we can't just let him go. Well, well, I don't get it, Franklin. Why are you after him when that man hasn't done anything bad to us? When what he does is help out a lot of people. Because the Silver Lily is just a common thief, Miss Carmelo. He has to face up and pay for all the crimes he has committed. And I'll see to it that he will. Wait, man, hold on there. Wait a second. Let me get out. You better shut your mouth, you punk, or I'm going to shoot you. I'm calling the police so they can come here and jail this criminal. Uh, Wait a minute, uh, Godmother. Uh, Wait a minute, uh, Godmother. Godmother, uh, it's me. There she oh. 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 my sweetie. I nearly could have killed you, my dear. Oh, you know, Yordi, you could do whatever you want to me, you silly handsome boy. <laughs> Yordi, but then, you really look great, Yordi. And you look very nice yourself. I see that trip did a lot of good for you. Welcome back home, my pretty girl. <laughs> Well, 
how do I look? Oh, my baby, you look so gorgeous. Much more than that, my dear. You look very radiant, so spectacular. I think that I'll be the proudest father in the whole wide world when I walk with you down the aisle. You know, I can't believe that you're getting married, my dear. It seems like yesterday you were just a little girl who, who loved to play with her little dolls. Daddy. Mommy. I, I want to thank you for everything. For everything that you gave me. For all your support in my career and... Well, I want to tell you both, you're simply the best. <laughs> my dear, of course you know that you can always count on us. In spite of any problems between me and your father, you know that we will always be here for you, dear. Oh, no, Mommy, please. No problems today, all right? Chiggy's absolutely right, Carmela. Please, my dear, don't go and upset her. Chiggy, Kira, please look into my mirror. Think very well if Orestes is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with, my dear. Chiggy Lorenz. She finally got what she wanted. To marry that stuffed up villain whoever boy. That damn girl boy. She even looks great in this photograph. Huh? Oh, Franklin Carreño, my man. But why are you reacting, my boy? Reacting to all of this for what? Besides, she wasn't meant for you, my man. That woman isn't for you. But just thinking about that time... You didn't have a bad time in Merida at all. I would give anything to live through that moment again, dude. There are, there are times I feel, I feel that it's true that I can feel Chicky has feelings for me, man. But the problem is that she's so insufferable, so unbearable, so annoying. I can't and just so get... so what, huh? That despicable snake is finally getting married. Don't tell me, Franklin, that you're still thinking of that woman. But, Mommy, how could you ask me such a question? Of course I want to spend the rest of my life with the rest, as you know that. Please understand your mother, Chiggy. You know that she's just nervous from all the preparations for the wedding. Carmela, please explain. My dear, you see, getting married is a very serious business, and you have to be absolutely sure of what you're doing. But I'm sure, Mommy, absolutely sure. My dear, your mother and I just want to make sure that you go on happily with your life. <laughs> and if your true happiness lies with Orestes, then you can count on us. We'll always be with you. Oh, Orestes has been my boyfriend ever since I can remember. I've always wanted to marry him. I swore he was going to be for me, and I got it. My dear, marrying a man isn't the same as winning a lottery or, or even achieving success. So you're getting married, Chicken Lorenz. You won the lottery, didn't you? <laughs> no. Orestes for me isn't like a bet at all. He's the man of my life, and I love him. I really do. I couldn't care less about this girl or anyone else. Please don't feel that way, Franklin. I don't like seeing you so affected and upset like you are now, simply because of that woman in the newspaper. <clears throat> look, Consuelo, what bothers me is the look of happiness in the face of this guy when I know what he did to Valentina. I just can't stand that. Oh, can you forget about those people? <sighs> Besides, will you also get mad at me, little man? What I'm saying here is for your own good. It's because... It's because I care a lot about you, and I have a lot of thank you for you, know. <clears throat> Besides, thanks to you, I got his job at the police station, right? Oh, Consuelo, I think you deserved it. Besides, you're an excellent secretary, and I am glad that at least with this job... I was able to help you take care of some problems you have in life. Much more now that you're alone with a child. Yes, that's true. Yes. Uh, and I know very well what it feels like to be alone. Yes. It's very sad, you know. Well, you know that... It's just that... Uh, we both of us have been alone. Yes. And I gotta think that... What do you mean, Consuelo, really? What are you saying? It's nothing, Franklin. It's nothing. Really. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> so what happened now, Carreño? Huh? What's happening here, man? Well, come on, Uncle. We can celebrate Mass another day for Aunt Celeste. Because today, today is the wedding of my son Orestes. That's precisely. Why, I thought today would be a day of mourning for the death of my sister.
No, no, you see, Orestes was willing to call off the wedding since we're all very affected by her death, but it was already too late, Uncle. We couldn't do anything. Well, okay, then. But if you came here to invite me to that farce of a wedding, I'm telling you right now that you're just wasting your time. No, 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 no. I would never do such a thing. I actually came here to ask for your advice. Orestes is a fool. He's letting himself be forced into this marriage that someday may change his life into a living hell. I'm sure that nothing could ever ruin this day. The wedding of my son, the perfect prince, the king. You look so handsome. <laughs> For Orestes Villanueva. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mr. Orestes, this is for you. There's an envelope, but it's sealed. For me? Mm-hmm. It's a box of chocolates. Valentina. Hmm. I just really can't stop wondering about my poor sister. Who would have known she would die early? And for what? But what then? What other reason could there be? Because of her illness, she had a heart condition. I find it strange that Valentina hasn't even tried to call me. It's because she got married. Almudena told Orestes that, and I think she went to Paris. I don't know. I keep thinking that Valentina must have decided to go away from here because she was scared of something. Well, could, could it be that your son did something bad to her? Oh, come on, Uncle. How can you even think that? Orestes is still very much in love with her. And I can see that he's not the least bit enthusiastic about this wedding. Well, then why is he getting married today? I don't know, Uncle, out of stubbornness. I know he won't be happy with Chicky. And the worst thing here is knowing that I can do absolutely nothing to save him from making a terrible mistake. Well, why don't you open the letter and see what it says? Congratulations. Today will be a big day for you. Valentina. To hell with that stupid fatty! I thought that she was out of our lives at last, but I see that she's not! I think that it's very rude, and I'm sure she sent it to annoy Mr. Orestes. But I don't understand. I've been sending her letters for a year, and she never answered them. And today I receive a box of chocolates? She did it to annoy you, don't you get it? Hmm. I'm sure she heard about your wedding with Chicken. and she wanted to ruin your day. Give me that! Give what are you me doing? That. What I should have done while she was still here is to tear her apart. I should have made sure that that stupid girl was out of her lives forever. That's enough, Mother. This present is mine and I don't want you to touch well, it. Well, you don't have to receive anything from her. Why do you have to accept her sending you these stupid gifts? Because it makes me happy, Mother. Ooh, don't you look so beautiful, baby? I wish I could take you home. I really wish. You look so beautiful. Good day, miss. Tell me where you want to go. Take me someplace where I can change my clothes. Mm -hmm. After which you will drive me to this address. I'm the guest of honor at the wedding of Orestes Villanueva. Oh, I can't understand why one and else will have to talk to that old man. Achilles, do me a favor. Please ask your father to come down. <laughs> oh, there's no need. Here he comes. Orestes, how long do you plan to keep holding those chocolates with you? Hmm? What chocolates? This one. They were sent to me by Valentina. Valentina? Is she still alive? What does it say? Nothing, Father. There was a congratulatory note that came with a box. I guess that she must have heard of my wedding to Chiki. Better not eat them because I'm sure that Plum put something in there to ruin your wedding. <laughs> Stop being silly, will you? Oh, did you call for me, sir? Yes, Nympha. These are chocolates Valentina sent oh, me. Nice. Could you do me a favor and put them in my room? Uh -huh. This just confirms my suspicions. You still haven't been able to forget about Valentina. Oh, come on, that's enough. Stop talking about that no good fatty. Besides, it's time to leave for church. If the bride gets there first, she might think you left her in the lurch. Let's go. So you're getting married today, Orestes. What a good chance to be able to see you again. You and all the other Villanuevas. I want to see all your faces of happiness before I erase them forever. I promise to make your lives a living hell. I won't rest until I see all your lives destroyed. So what now, officer? After a whole year in this hole, 
You still call me and ask me the same stupid thing? Hmm? You better talk fast because pretty soon I'll be getting out of here. Morales, that's not the reason I called for you. You kidnapped Miss Carmela in exchange for something. Something that you obviously received otherwise you wouldn't have let her go, am I right? Well, you've turned into a genius, Mr. Policeman. May I go now? No, you stay and sit there. Tell me, Morales, what did you ask for in exchange for the freedom of Miss Carmela? Tell me now. I already told you this before. Just money, man. Just money. I know that it's somehow tied up to the freedom of Fonseca. Because I also know that Fonseca is in charge of your business, even your rackets. Because I happen to know that you manage a cartel from in here, you punk. I brought you the file you asked for, Franklin. Thank you, Consuelo. It seems that you're exactly what I need. Huh, Consuelo? So that I can recover from staying a whole year. Please stay Look here, me. you better respect women, you punk. Because if you don't know how, then I'll teach you how. Do you understand me, huh? You look so beautiful, princess. Oh, thank you, daddy. Mm. <laughs> Both of you look very elegant, too. Orestes will simply go crazy when he sees you coming through the church door, my darling. Yes, Miss Cheeky. The truth is I've never seen a bride so pretty as you in all my life. Why, thank you, Rita. <laughs> well, then, I guess I better go now because I'm sure everyone must be waiting for me at the church. Oh, yeah, dear. Thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the right thing. I know I was born to marry you, Orestes. Finally, you're getting married, Chiqui Loren. You want the lottery, right? Stop it. Stop it! Orestes and I will be the happiest couple in the whole wide world. Mister, this isn't the way. Are you passing this way to avoid traffic? But mister, I don't know of any other way, you know. Are you listening to me? This isn't the way going to the church, mister. Tell me, where are you taking me? I can see that things here have changed a lot, right? Mm -hmm. You're once again the very famous actress, Sessa Lance. My dear. <laughs> oh, my dear, you've seen nothing yet. People are even asking for her autograph. That's so <laughs> She even has a fans club. No, but that's not all you know. What can we say about Franklin? Oh, well, now he's Inspector General at the police force. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But then, the only one who hasn't been so good is our poor Jordi, who, well, ever since that Villanueva woman left him, his life really changed. Yes, we all are really very worried about him, my dear. It seems that every night all he does is drink and hang out with the worst of the worst. It looks like life doesn't matter to him anymore. Ah, uh, no, he doesn't really care. Didn't you hear what Franklin said? That in their operations he goes crazy like he's just waiting for someone to shoot him. <sighs> Mommy, yes. I'm absolutely sure that if only Valentina were still here, I'm sure that she'd help Jordi to see things differently. Oh, sweetie, if only Valentina were here, then I'd be very happy. But then I thank God so much that she's so far away. Because today would be a very hard day for her. A sad day indeed. Today's the wedding of that hypocrite Orestes Villanueva. Stop, please. Stop, please, mister. Where are you taking me? Please pull over, I beg you. <laughs> Oh, please, mister, let me get out. Oh, mister, don't do this to me. I'm getting married today. There must be something you want. Do you want some money? Let me call my father, please, so he can pay you the amount, whatever you want. I beg you. Oh, please take me to the church. Orestes is waiting for me. Please. I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here, even if I have to. Oh my god, please help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! I beg you, help me! Let me out! Somebody! Help me! Oh. Take it easy, Princess Bride. Relax, so you don't get traumatized. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Something must have happened to Chiki. She's already running half an hour late. Well, maybe the limousine had a slight breakdown or they're stuck in traffic. Besides, you know, traffic in the city is like hell. Well, then maybe she finally realized that this wedding was nonsense and she decided not to come here. Don't even think about it, when in hell. You know that Chiki has dreamt of this day all her life. <laughs> I think we should be calling the police. This kind of delay isn't normal. You better tell me where your daughter is. I don't know. I've been calling her cell phone. No answer. Then tell me the reason why you didn't go right with her in that limousine. That's what fathers do, don't they? It's because she said she wanted to go alone. She said that her dress was going to wrinkle. I don't know. You know how she is when she gets like that. Oh my god. I have this strange feeling that something bad has happened to my daughter. What is this? Why have you taken me, you brute? Shh, easy. Tell me who lives here. What do you really want? Come on, tell me what you want! No, let me go! No, Come no! Here, let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Come on! What do you want? Who are you? What will you do to me? Who are you? Cheeky Cheeky! Welcome to my own paradise. Hello, Lawrence residents. Rita, this is Carmela. Have you heard from Chiki? Uh, nothing. But wasn't she supposed to be there with you at the church? Oh, we've been waiting for her and she hasn't arrived up to now. Oh my god, what could have happened? I'm so nervous, I'm so terrified. Oh, this is so weird, Miss Carmela. You know she left before you did. Oh my dear god, what could have happened to her, Rita? She made sure that she had a lot of time to get here, but she's not yet here, Rita, oh my god. Is it possible that she's been kidnapped? A beautiful dress and white cheek, Cheeky. Oh, shut up, you brute. Let me go. Let me go. Let me out of here, you punk. Let me go. God, I love it when you act like that. So upset, so mad, so furious. It really upsets me a lot. Let me go, Roman, please. Please don't hurt me, Roman, I beg you. No, 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 hurt you? Oh, come on, dear. You know, on the contrary, hmm? I've always told you that I think you're really hot, sweetheart. You're too much, too delicious. I... Look, Roman, I... I could tell my father to give you a lot of money and... And I promise you no one will know about this. Not even my girlfriend. She won't know about this. Oh, but that's good, Chicky. It's now that you're becoming smarter because... The truth is... No one will ever know. But not after the best part. Because it will happen. <laughs> Please. Shh, 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 shh. Come, come, come. Relax. Relax and take it easy. Just enjoy your wedding present, honey. No, Roman. Please just let me go. Get your hands off me, you filthy pig. Let me go. I'd rather die. You haven't had a taste of me yet, Chiki Chiki. But once you have, you'll never want to be with Orestes. Oh, no. He's not even half the man that I am. Oh, no. I beg you, please, please, Roman, I beg you, don't hurt me. Please don't do this to me. Let me go. What I want at this moment is you, my sweetie. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> is there anyone home? Huh? Macedonio, Danielito. Looks like no one's here. Everyone, the bathroom's mine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Franklin, would you want me to make you some soup? No, 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 Consuelo, it's okay. You go ahead and eat if you want. I'll eat later, it's okay. Don't worry about me. You go ahead and eat. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe this is happening to me. Franklin and me all alone in the house. No, 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 wait, wait. For God's sake, wait. I have to get this crazy idea out of my head, right? Oh. was close. Is it possible that my patron saint is sending me a sign from up above? No, no. Oh well. Oh well. But then, but why wait, right? Besides, Franklin is single and I'm single too. And 
Why be afraid, Consuelo? Why be afraid, huh? Let's do it. Have a happy wedding, Chiki Chiki. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on. That was a great show, wasn't it? You get to send to jail your friends' friends? Because it's all right for you to go to those places, huh? Look here, boss. Why should it interest you how I do my job? As long as I get to do it right. There's no doubt about that. What I want to talk about is you, Jordi Rosales. What I'm talking about is you're hanging around every night like some poor dog without respect to yourself, my boy. Mm. Let me tell you something. I see you going the wrong way. Take charge of your career and your job, too. Hello. Boy, that was some lecture. And the worst part is you deserve it, you know. Hey, look here, Beatrice. Don't ever talk to me like that. No one knows exactly what's going on inside me. Listen, do me a favor and change that look in your face because I'm here to invite you to go out. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jordi, I want us to celebrate and just have some fun. To celebrate my homecoming of sorts, you know. <laughs> why is that, Beatrice? But why did you choose me? Well, because... Because I want you to be the way you were before all this. I want you to be alive again, Jordi. Pandora. Pandora, here's your food. Oh, my dear. It looks like you've really gone over the edge this time. I think it would be better if we take you to a real mental institution now. Because I'm getting really tired of being your personal butler and your personal nurse. Adora, I brought you your food. Better eat that, because otherwise you might starve. <laughs> Goodbye, you rat. Oh, who's there? Oh, but Consuelo, what are you doing here? Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a whole year, and I couldn't do it, Franklin. But this is our time. This is our time. But Consuelo, this isn't right. This isn't right, Consuelo. Uh, Why don't you let me show that this is right, Franklin? That this is all right. Uncle, you have to help me, will you please? Uncle, don't let them get Adora, me again. I beg my you. Girl, what are you doing here? When did you come back from Switzerland? No, no, that was all a big lie invented by Olympia to mislead people so they would forget about me. But well, now, then if that's that's true, then where have you been all this time? Olympia had me locked up. Much worse than any jail. And I was in the basement of the house, Uncle. Only an evil mind as perverse as what that woman has could ever think of such stark cruelty to imprison her very own daughter. So you're inviting me to go out with you? Me, huh? Mm -hmm. No, no way, my girl. You definitely are not the same Beatrice that I used to know. Oh, well then, mister. Of course I'm still the same, you silly boy. It's because while I was away, Jordi, that's where I learned that life isn't all work and work and work. We also have to learn how to have fun. We have to live. Hmm? So now, my darling, what do you say? Do you think it's about time we had some fun? Hmm? Hey, Beatrice, <laughs> you've sure changed a lot, you know. Because you used to treat me very rudely. <laughs> and even when I tried to get closer to you to tell you nice things, you didn't treat me well. And now, well... <laughs> oh, my Jordi. Yordi, my mother told me some things about you. She told me that you've turned into a violent man and a bitter one. Hmm. What happened, Yordi? What happened to that Yordi who was always playing jokes, who made us enthusiastic to have parties at the boarding house and do crazy dancing? No, you see, Beatrice, that Yordi doesn't exist anymore. The wheels of life have already taught me that everyone has no choice but to change. Yordi, you just hurt because Pandora and Weva didn't want you. Look here, Beatrice. I would appreciate it if you don't get into that. I don't want to discuss that. Well, I do, Yordi. Yordi, it's been more than a year since that woman left you all alone. Come here, sweetie. 
You have to learn to take that girl out of your head, Yordi. And I'm willing to help you. Uncle, you're my only way out, my only salvation. I need someone so I can get out of here. Wait a moment there, girl. Wait a moment. What motives could Olympia possibly have to punish you that way? I know. I know so many things can destroy her life. And that's why I think she can even kill me. Oh. So now I understand that it's true your life is in danger, of course. But the worst part of this is... The worst part of all this is that wherever you may go, Olympia will be sure to find you. Because she's a woman who's very cunning. A bit strong will. And she has money. But I have to at least try, Uncle. I don't mind taking the risk. I have to do it. All right, my dear, all right. Here, I'm giving you sufficient money to allow you to get away as far from Olympia's reach as you can. Even if it's only for a short time. <gasps> it's broken, Mr. Sigmund. Please open the door. It's that horrible man. Don't let him get me, Uncle. I beg you. Don't let him get me. Please, Uncle, you have to help me. I just can't keep calm, Father. I don't like this at all. Do you think Chiki got cold feet and decided not to get married? Even though that would be perfect, I doubt it, my boy. But I don't think I like this delay either. I have a bad feeling that something must have happened. Just take it easy, Orestes. Tricky is a public figure and this is the wedding of the year. I'm sure she's doing this to show the world who she is. Look, any moment now she'll come walking through that door, you'll see. This isn't normal. She's running so late, Mother. Ten, maybe fifteen minutes is normal, but an hour isn't. Why did it take you so long? We've been waiting for you more than an hour. The chauffeur got lost. Let's start the wedding. Yes. Are you all right? Is there something wrong? I'm just perfectly all right. I'm the most beautiful woman here. And you're the most sought after man. Let's go on with our wedding. Is there anyone here who knows of any motive or reason as to why Orestes Villanueva and Chiquinquira Lorenz cannot get married? me here. He's her accomplice. They're going to kill me. Go and hide over there. I thought you would never open it. What are you doing here? And to what do I owe this very unpleasant visit from a person like you? Get lost, boy. <clears throat> you see, I lost something, and I believe that it just might be around... Hold you. on. Where do you think you're going? Get out of here, you criminal. Because anyone who is associated with Olympia can't be anything else other than a common criminal. Hold on, you heard me, General. So get out of here, or I'll take you out myself. My dear. Pandora, dear, but, but what are you doing here, sweetie? All right now, you have to try to... to get her out of this house as soon as possible. Yes, yes. 
And make sure that their horrible mother and her accomplice can't find her, okay? Do you know that woman? I don't know her. Take a good look. You won't forget my face because it will haunt you for the rest of your lives. Since there is no other objection to this wedding, <laughs> we can then proceed with the ceremony. Pretty soon it will be my turn with my honey pooch. Oh, I can't wait to see you, my dear. Oh, I wonder where you are. Orestes Villanueva Mercury, do you accept as your wife, Chiquinquila Lorenz Rivero, to love her and respect her until death do you part? Yes, I do. Chiquinquila Lorenz Rivero, do you accept as your husband Orestes Villanueva Mercuri to love him and respect him until death do you part? Just exactly on her wedding day. All right, I got her. We have to hurry. So Come on, careful. let's go. Franklin, that was great. Everything was great. It felt so good being your woman. Oh, to have felt your arms around me. Tell me, what do you feel? Huh? I don't know, Consuelo. I swear I don't know. I swear I don't know. Consuelo, dear, please open the door. Listen, Consuelo, I I'll go out and talk to my mother. No, no, okay? no. Shh. I said no, just stay here. Keep quiet. Yes, good. Yes, Gladiola, it's me. I'm taking a bath because I found it too hot today. Consuelo, my dear, you left all your clothes on the floor. Oh, yes, yes. The thing is that, uh, well, I guess I left my clothes uh, hanging on the doorknob and it might have fallen off, but I'll come out to pick them up, okay? Oh, Consuelo. Can you just let me in to give you your clothes? No, 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 for God's sake, don't worry. Uh, uh, I'm coming out now. The thing is, uh, I already have other clothes in here, and the truth is, if you open the door, you know I can get spasms from the cold air. A uh, spasm from the cold and this heat. Hmm. Oh, well then. It's okay, Consuelo. I'll just wait for you in the kitchen, my dear. Hmm? Who could that be? Well, if that's another messenger with some more flowers from that one Angel Villanueva for me, then he can just take it back. I don't want them. Okay. <clears throat> ah, there's no need. It's that lawyer guy. I thought it was just a fan who wanted an autograph from Sass. <laughs> that sounds very funny. Let me tell you, that's where you're wrong, you trying hard poor little actor. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not here for her autograph. I'm a certified lawyer of this republic, and besides, I'm also the business manager of this lady here who gets prettier every day. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear Pacheco, mm. how's my lawyer doing lately? <laughs> <laughs> Forget about that, because the prettiest girl in America can't stay to chat. She's got to be at the studio right now. You understand? Hey there, Macedonio, don't be so rude to my Pacheco. Look, remember that he's the administrator of my money, my dear, and he can fire you. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, by the way, I really need to have a talk with my favorite star. Mm -hmm. uh, listen... I'm sorry, but I have bad news for you. You know that the time to pay the mortgage expires today. So either we pay the mortgage right now, or the bank will place an embargo on your pension house. <gasps> I, I mean, what happened? Please. She just fainted. Somebody pull up we a chair. We have to get her a doctor. Here. She's not feeling well. Sit her here. No, I don't need a doctor. No need for a doctor. Chiki, are you sure you're feeling all right? I'm fine. 
I think I feel better now. It's nothing. How can it be nothing, my dear? You fainted in front of everyone in church, and the priest didn't even have time to bless your marriage. Oh, will you please, Carmela? This is not the time to talk about that. Girlfriend? Girlfriend, what happened to you? Nothing. Nothing. It was nothing. I fainted because it was just... It was just a nightmare, but that's all it was. No, Chiki. I already know you too well. You weren't looking too good even when you entered the church. No, no, my guess is she was nervous. There's no bride who doesn't get emotional. Drink this. It'll make you feel a lot better. Chiki and Kira, I think what you need right now is to rest. No, no. I, I, all I need now is to be in there at my party. Let all our invited guests come in. Today we'll celebrate the marriage between Chiki Lawrence and Restas Villanueva. My one and only true love. Thank you, Benigno. If it weren't for you, I would still be in that house. And I can't know. I don't want to be locked up. Well, at least no one will look for me in here. Everybody's worrying about Orestes' wedding and that silly cheeky. But I can stay here the whole time. Oh my God, what should I do? I can't look for Jordi after everything I said to him. What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> Hey, who's there? This is a Olivia, party that we're having. I'm sorry to be so insistent, but I really need to talk to you. Uh, excuse me. Please go on and enjoy the party. Oh, Rocky, what's the matter? You look like you're in some kind of pain. Because your daughter hit me. What about Pandora? Yeah. We'll just give her an injection. Give her a double dose so that she can let us enjoy the party in peace. Well, now I guess I'm the one who will have to get that shot instead because I have a pain here when I was hit by your daughter. What are you talking about, Rocky? Your Pandora escaped from the basement, Olympia. She simply disappeared. Tell me, where did you get all that money? And what will you be doing with all that cash in that bag? Oh, Ariane, I told you already. It's business, just business. Which cost me a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice. I see. Just business? Is it legal? What do you mean it's illegal, Ariana? But of course, why do you have to ask me that? It's just that I'm curious. Oh, Roman, it's just... I don't know, sometimes I get so scared and... Tell me the truth. Are you into something illegal? What are you saying that for? All I ever do here is work hard like a donkey and sacrificing myself for our future and you come out and say that? Oh, I'm sorry, my honey pooch. Forgive me, will you please? I think it must be because I've missed you that it makes me a little silly, but... Come on, and kiss me. Let's make love the way that we used to. Oh. Ariana is missing. Where can she be? She must be around here somewhere with her boyfriend. But right now, the only person we should be worrying about is Pandora. I know that. I know that. The crazy girl must have gone running looking for that Yordi at the hostel. Yes, but we cannot get out of here right now. I'll tell some of my men to look for her. I'll take care of that. Benigno, no, I'll go look for Chiki. She hasn't come down yet. Let's hope she hasn't fainted again. Oh, no, no, here she comes. Uh, yeah, well, this is happening Good right evening now. to all of you, my friends. I want to make a toast. A toast to my happiness. Yeah. A toast to my life with Orestes that yes. begins today. Yeah, cheers. 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 I also want to make a toast to the newlyweds' happiness and to the whole Villanueva family. Besos en tu piel, mientras que mis manos quieren conocerte bien, y en tu pecho un temblor delata tu intención de caer en la tentación. want to, not because they feel obliged. No, I think Orestes is getting cold feet about this wedding, and he's looking for an excuse to postpone it because men are like that. And don't you think you should find out why he's so scared? And why should that be, Dad? Because deep down, all men are just good for nothing. Ariana, will you please show some respect here? <laughs> okay, Chiki, I've made my decision. You did? Yes, that's right, Chiki. Orestes has decided, and now he knows what he has to do. And what's your decision, Orestes? That our wedding is on. I'll marry you. <laughs> Think very well, Mrs. Caramella. Try to remember. We have reason to suspect that this man is the one that they call the Silver Lily. 
But come on, how can I remember when I don't recognize anyone because I've never seen that man in my life? But then why didn't you tell us that you received the donations? That's what you told Inspector Carreño. Yes, yes, yes. I've been receiving them, but he'd never given them to me personally. We don't have any idea how they got there. And there were even occasions when someone would slide them right under the front door. Mm -mm. Look here. Carreño, we better forget about this because I think this isn't the guy we're looking for. We'll have to let but him why go. why should we, Chief? But come on, haven't you thought this out? Look, this guy hasn't confessed. We have no proof. What do we do? Well, you know, Chief, I guess we just haven't pushed him hard enough. You get me? But we can't just let him go. I'm really sorry, Mr. Orestes, but then, you know, with everything that happened here with the death of Miss Celeste, well, uh, Valentina decided to, well, uh, just leave her parish with her husband. With... with her husband? V Valentina got married? Yes, of course. She got married last year with a local businessman from, from the city. Yes. Yes. Are you there? Yes, Mr. Orestes? <sighs> Mr. Orestes! She... she got married. Valentina got married. Oh, so it was all for nothing, right? All for nothing. You wanted to ruin your marriage when she's already happily married. Will you please? You just really have to convince Arrestus that we shouldn't postpone our wedding. But then my son's very stubborn, and when he gets an idea into his head, that's but it. we still have to try to convince him anyway. Otherwise, it will reflect badly on us. People get married because they really... <gasps> oh my god, it's him. It's Orestes. Hello? Do you hear me? Valentina, is that you? No, I can't talk to him. I don't want to. Valentina, it's you, isn't it? Come on, please talk to me. What is it, Valentina? It's Orestes. Oh. Look, if he asks for me, please tell him that, that, that I got married and went to Paris, okay? That you don't know anything about all me. All right, all right. Yes, who is this? Oh, Mr. Orestes, how are you? It's Almudena, do you remember? Yes, yes, of course, Almudena. Uh, how are you? Tell me something. Who picked up the phone? Why did it take you so long to answer? Well, then, you see, the thing is the sound is bad, and, you know, there's a little interference on the line. It must be something like that. <laughs> hmm. uh, Almudena, by the way, we heard the news about Aunt Celeste's death, and believe me, we're all saddened by it. <sighs> yes, I know how you feel, just as we are all feeling here. Very sad. <sighs> you know, she was feeling a little sick, right? She had a heart problem, but we never thought that she would pass away that fast and so suddenly. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Please do me a favor. Tell Valentina to pick up the phone. I need to talk to her. You see... Well, I don't get it, Franklin. Why are you after him when that man hasn't done anything bad to us? When what he does is help out a lot of people. Because the Silver Lady is just a common thief, Miss Carmelo. He has to face up and pay for all the crimes he has committed. And I'll see to it that he will. Wait, man. Hold on there. Wait a second. Let me get up. You better shut your mouth, you punk, or I'm gonna shoot you. I'm calling the police so they can come here and jail this criminal. Uh, Wait a minute, Godmother. Uh, Wait a minute, uh, Godmother. Godmother, it's me. Here she is. Oh, oh. 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 oh Beatrice, oh. you're finally back, my oh. darling. Oh. oh, my little oh, baby. Oh, oh, it's really me. I just got back from Los Angeles and I wanted to surprise you all with what I learned from the makeup course, which was special. Can you beat that? Oh, oh my dear girl, my God, come and give me a hug. Oh, Beatrice, you look so beautiful, really superb, right? Oh, with what you just did, if the criminals hire you, you would be really rich. Oh, Beatrice, you really are an actress, my darling. How are you doing? Well then, well then, Beatrice, my sweetie. I nearly could have killed you, my dear. Oh, you know, Yordi, you could do whatever you want to me, you silly handsome boy. <laughs> Yordi, but then, you really look great, Yordi. And you look very nice yourself. I see that trip did a lot of good for you. <laughs> Welcome back home, my pretty girl. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, my baby, you look so gorgeous. Much more than that, my dear. You look very radiant, so spectacular. I think that I'll be the proudest father in the whole wide world when I walk with you down the aisle. 
You know, I can't believe that you're getting married, my dear. It seems like yesterday you were just a little girl who, who loved to play with her little dolls. Daddy. Mommy. I, I want to thank you for everything. For everything that you gave me. For all your support in my career and... Well, I want to tell you both, you're simply the best. <laughs> my dear, of course you know that you can always count on us. In spite of any problems between me and your father, you know that we will always be here for you, dear. Oh, no, Mommy, please. No problems today, all right? Chick is absolutely right, Carmela. 